a couple different videos on what exactly NFTs are, but I know different people like different explanations. Um, this is a good one that I found that I wanted to try to explain to you guys. Um, NFT, what is an NFT? While every Bitcoin is identical, non-fungible tokens are unique. NFTs are like plane tickets. They all look the same, but each have a different seat and destination. Non-fungible tokens are ideal for creating digital versions of collectibles like art and trading cards. Other use cases include digitizing our identities and proving ownership of things like real estate. NFTs are often based on the Ethereum blockchain in the form of ERC-721 tokens. These tokens can be bought and sold on second-hand marketplaces. So what exactly is an NFT? Is it art or... It is it a platform? What does NFT stand for? NFT stands for non-fungible tokens. NFT stands for non-fungible tokens. <laughs> are NFTs cryptocurrencies? No, NFTs are digital assets that may be purchased using cryptocurrency but act differently from Bitcoin or Ethereum. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are fungible, meaning all tokens are equal. Each NFT is token is unique. And why are investors investors putting money into NFTs? NFT or non-fungible tokens refer to unique assets like an irreplaceable Doge meme or an autograph tweet. NFTs could be anything from an art piece to a domain name, a tweet, music piece, a trading card, or just about any digital good that has a value attached to it. For example, the first tweet from Jack Dorsey, the founder of Twitter, is an NFT. And it sold for $2.9 million as an NFT. <laughs> Their value lies exclusive, exclusive. Their value lies in their exclusivity, unlike Bitcoins, which are fungible as they can be traded for another. NFTs are unique, one-of-a-kind digital trading assets. NFTs are pieces of information on a blockchain that, that's represented in an interactive format and visual rep representation. While NFTs have been around since 2014, their popularity is fast gaining momentum as the new, age, the new age way to buy and sell digital artwork. In fact, since 2017, over $174 million have been spent on NFTs. Now, one would imagine digital creations to be abundant in supply, and thus if the supply is controlled, the value would increase given its demand. NFTs, on the other hand, are digital, cre are digital creations of assets that already exist, easily accessible to view. One may wonder, what is the allure of buying expensive digital art when the same can easily be downloaded or taken a screenshot of? Managing NFTs is, a similar, is similar to managing cryptocurrencies and may be done by mobile or online apps. It's possible to accomplish this on a smartphone using cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase Global Inc. and Binance FTX. Expert, experts, keep think, keep, keep, experts think keeping NFT tokens secure is critical to managing them. NFTs like Bitcoins are stored in wallets. A unique connection with the wallet enables the material to be viewed or traded. Buying NFTs allows the buyer to own the original digital art. The built-in authentication or digital signature re serves as proof of ownership, giving the investors bragging rights that some may say are as worthy as the digital, assets, digital asset itself. I'll go ahead and do this one too. What are NFTs and how do they work? Powered by the blockchain technology, <laughs> NFTs are encoded and sold online frequently in exchange for crypto coins. Usually found on the Ethereum blockchain, these digi digital assets stored in digital ledgers hold more information that makes them work differently than an ETH coin. NFTs are developed from digital assets, tangible and intangible items that can vary from art, gifts, uh, videos, collectibles, avatars, video game skins, music, tweets, and designer shoes. Here is an ex or NFTs benefits 
NFTs benefit artists and content creators alike. They offer an opportunity to monetize their art without relying on galleries or auction houses. Instead, NFTs can be directly sold to the customer, allowing them to earn and retain most of the profits themselves. The sale can even be structured to earn royalties if their art is resold, a privilege they wouldn't be offered otherwise. But NFTs aren't limited to just artists. Brands such as Charmin and Taco Bell auction themed NFT art to raise money for charities. And then it goes in how to buy NFTs. I have uh, v videos on how to buy NFTs. Um, you just go through my portfolio and you'll see that. I will post a link at the end on how to create an OpenSea.io account, which is the first step in creating NFTs and also how to create a MetaMask account. Those are the first two things you need to do in order to do anything with NFTs. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please like and subscribe for more educational content on crypto and NFTs. Have a great day.